This is actually insane. Mom is taking me on tour. The amount of crayfish in this food. That's literally stealing. I think I'm taking expired wine. I think it's 2 a.m. right now. I have a flight for 6.30 a.m. And I'm just like kind of stressed out. Part of my lips, I had a food reaction to part of my lips. I've actually had a very stressful day. I woke up to my mom like calling me that she's on drip and that she's sick. And I was just like, oh my God. Like, it was just a lot to take in. So I really had like a very stressful day because I had to just like move everything and like book my flight to go see her. Currently, my mom is not in Abuja because she's working, so she's in Abia. She's working a construction job. This is my first time actually going there. I've never been to my village. Abia, I'm not from Abia, but I've never been to the eastern places. The only place in Nigeria I've been to is obviously Lagos, Abuja, and Kaduna. I'm traveling alone, and it's just like... <sighs> But I'm so worried about my mom. I really do hope like she gets better because like she's alone there. My brother usually stays with her, but my brother is ill as well and he's in Abuja. So I just have to go and like see her real quick and like just spend some time with her. Like I've missed her so much. This is actually insane. So my flight is from Lagos to Owerri. Then from Owerri, my mom sent her drivers and stuff to pick me up. Then I'm going to Abia State. So let's see. It's gonna be a road. It's gonna be a flight then a road trip. So yeah, stay tuned, besties. I'm not gonna sleep tonight. I'm just gonna stay up until five. Then I'll head to the airport. Regardless, I'm also taking a break from social media. By the time you see this vlog, you would have noticed that I took a break because I just feel like I've been giving everybody back to back. And I know obviously, like, why are you taking a break when you're giving back to back? But I just, I just want to like go away from that and just face reality with like ugh. oh my god i haven't been looking at camera all through i'm super excited about this and i i love you guys this is gonna be my first time in the eastern part of nigeria oh my god So I'm going to tell you guys something I witnessed literally with my own eyes. Obviously with my own eyes because who else was watching. So this guy, uh, you know people that check your luggages just when you put it through that thingy to check what's inside. So when you put it through, there's meant to be like a police person or whatever that checks your luggage. So just the lady in front of me, apparently 500 naira notes slipped from her bag and it just fell in the box that you're meant to put your... Um, the tray rather that you meant to put like your suitcase and your carry-on and whatever so it fell inside of it and bro this guy literally like held it and used it to do as if he's holding the tray so he hit the money between his hand and the tray like he held the money with the tray 
and the lady didn't notice because she was trying to put on her shoes so when she stood back up i was actually watching this guy because i'm like okay would he give out the money and he didn't give out the money and i'm in awe like bro things can't be that bad that's literally stealing and like you would literally think your things would be safe for security but it's not because they are the ones actually stealing and then you know she now says oh like bye to the guy the guy literally said bye as well and then i saw him go to put the money in his purse like there was a purse that he had close by and he put it so sneaky i'm looking at him like bro you're worse than politicians though you're literally stealing from somebody like you don't even know what the person did that money for or whatever it was so embarrassing i just can't like you guys should actually be so careful with your luggage when you're traveling because bro you can't trust anybody state i'm so excited kind of nervous but it's been such an experience already just coming down and people are like speaking evil i feel like that's so different from everything i've been used to because in abuja they speak hausa lagos they speak yoruba so finally i'm in a place where they actually speak a language that i actually understand so um just leaving the airport the craziest thing happened so if the car if the camera is moving because the car is moving very fast and the roads are not so good the trip is one hour to Abia. At the airport, there was this, there were these like uh, security people that looked like police, but it had SF on their stuff, so it showed like special forces, and they had stuff on their chest that literally looked like charm. I'm just like, what the fuck? Like it's really not that deep. I don't know what people use, but I'm pretty sure guns are dangerous enough. And then they had like grenades on their chest as well. Like they had bullets that like, you could literally see every fucking weapon on their chest. So there's bullets like actual bullets you see them in something then they're like three grenades then there's like a charm small brown thingy it's just <sighs> let's keep going <laughs> Be patient, everything I've seen in the right moment. <laughs> Mom, just one. Ah, Mom, you're not angry. Hey, I'm shocked though. <laughs> Mom, what you say? They said that Igbo people like redfish. Thank you so much. Love you, Mama. You guys, this food, hey. Because the amount of crayfish in this food is unbelievable. It's like a pot of crayfish. They just put like five grains of rice. It's, it's crazy. So they finally changed the food. I'm so happy. Time to try this out. Shout out to my friend. So I'm trying to order like cocktails or alcohol. I'm a bit like because before they put crayfish in the alcohol shop. Hello. Yes, hello. Hello. Yeah, can you hear me? Oh, you said there is no cocktail. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so um do you have Bacardi? Like the white the white rum? White rum. White rum is rum. Okay, thank you. I'll be expecting your call back. Thanks so much. So, my mom said there's wine in the fridge. Ooh. Cheers. Wow, okay, that looks too red. It looks a bit... So please see on here, it shows that it expires March 2022. I don't know. 
I think I'm taking expired wine. Cheers, Mama. Cheers. Yes, okay, it's not bad. The next day. Mommy, do you know how I can take off this red thing off my lip? Yes, it's like a blood stain now. Your car is so polished. Yeah. Yes, mama. Yeah. Work that work. Okay. Yeah. I'm thankful. Uh. Oh, I hate this shit. Mm. Yes, mama. I'm okay, just tired. Can't give my spray the fire though. Me I know my truck's right. <laughs> We're checking out Shop Prime. My mom is taking me on tour. Hi, mama. My tour, my tour guide. Mama, you're so cute. Oh my god, I've missed you so much. <laughs> I want chocolate cake though. I'm having the best time. So the security said I should stop taking a video. Mom, I'm videoing myself. Why did he always keep stopping my videos? Oh, wow, Mom, you really know this place though. Obvious, obvious finest woman. I'm telling you. <laughs> Bruh, this is not bad at all. Thank you. Ah, my sponsor. Thank you, Mama. I really experienced Abia today. Huh? I said I really experienced Abia today. Oh. Wow, mom, this like there's so much progress. Guys, <laughs> there. Has been excavated. Always been excavated. Please, I don't. Abandoned. Oh wow. Uh, I say me and those days. Do I eat the coconut? No. I hope you can hear me. I'm literally at a lounge. There's a bunch of people staring at me like I don't have sense because <laughs> I'm making a video of myself and it's so random. Regardless, I look really good. Duh. I'd rather hold the mic cause, so you can pick up my sound because I'm talking quite low. Regardless, uh, Uma here has been quite fun. I can't even lie. Maybe because I'm always sleeping and I'm always just chilling and I've been able to work on myself. I feel very good about this trip. I feel like it was meant to happen. My mom is feeling a lot better, which is great. Although she's stressing out and I pray and wish she wouldn't stress. Yo, the way people are staring is actually wild. <sighs> so I went on a break from social media for 
for uh, it's more than a week now actually and i am so excited that i actually did that i took time to be with my family to be with my mom and just be with myself um i actually deleted snapchat and instagram for a whole day between this period and i noticed that i'm actually so much like there's so much peace when you're on social media social media is amazing social media is fun actually for me duh. but you know when you want to have that actual introspection when you actually want to work on yourself and maybe write your monthly goals find out your strengths your weaknesses how to be better i really feel like taking a break is such like it's very much advice but i took an actual break and i felt good i cleared my to-do list i felt better i'm just staring at the camera so the camera is here so i'm staring at the camera by the way there's a high rate of robbery in umaya it's actually crazy because just been here for a few days on two different occasions my mom has called me like don't leave the room oh there's a robbery going on i'm like what literally yesterday when i got back from Shoprite and the site she calls me she's like don't leave the room um there's a robbery going on don't leave the room i'm just like what so it's, it's crazy it's, it's a lot of getting used to and it's like daytime it's like 4 p.m and there's a robbery going on yeah that's weird yeah i think i'll actually be coming around here more because my mom's working here but generally i think i'm going to just be like maybe i'll visit my village for the first time because i've actually never been to the eastern part of nigeria like i told you guys i've only been to lagos abuja and kaduna so now add abia to that list and i think i'm actually going to visit like anambra i think i'm going to visit more places because it's not bad like it's actually lit actually if you're like in a good area and what else the food you would think the food would be nice like you would think because you're in an evil state that the food would be good but it's really not i got isiwu the other day and it sucked then i got um pepper um pepper soup the other day and it sucked and i got coconut on the road and it sucked <laughs> so the only thing that i've eaten that was good has been boiled corn boiled freaking corn they call it um oka that's what it is in Igbo, oka and ube that's the only thing i've been eating that has been good so now i feel like i've lost a lot of tummy fat like my tummy is flat so i don't know if that's good but i need to go back to lagos and buff up i feel like this um this period of time i've actually been going through it mentally and emotionally and i realized that people that you're there for might not always be there for you and that's okay it will hurt but that's okay that's also knowing that like i always tell my friends treat people better than they treat you like do things to people and don't expect them to do the same back to you so whenever i show people love or care or empathy i don't need the same back but i would definitely enjoy it if you match the energy because i'm a human being do you understand so when you don't match the energy i'm just like okay now i know and it kind of hurts so yeah I've, I've also been going through a lot of realization but i'm good because i'm putting all that energy all that sad negative energy into my work i'm literally like okay do you know i'm going on a break and i'm going to come back bigger and better so that's the energy anyway i love you guys i will update you <laughs> Thank you. 